Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to get started with the new page model in SharePoint Online. As you see, this site looks exactly like any other site uh, in SharePoint 2013 and SharePoint Online before the new page model. But if you go ahead and add a page, it will actually create a page of the new page model. Edit the page. This is, of course, a regular wiki page. You can type straight into it's all the, the regular web parts. So that's a wiki page. I'm not going to save that now. So the home page is still a wiki page. But if you create new pages from this, add a page, it will create a new page of the new page model. So here I can do new home page, because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this new page of the new page model as my new home page. And as you see, you can type in a heading. As you see, there are very few options. I cannot put in line breaks. I can't change the height of this. The only thing I can do really is publish and um, save and close, or all else I can add new content here. I can also actually press enter here, and that will get me straight into typing text there. As you see, also in the new page model, you don't have the regular ribbon. So these are the options that you have and not much else. You cannot copy and paste from other HTML editors. These are the options that you have in terms of formatting. The goal here is clearly to make it more simple, not to make it more powerful. So you have alignments, you have some variants of bullet lists, you have hyperlinks, and you have clear all formatting. Those are the options that you have. So I'm just going to do hello world. Actually, as you see, you can't even select the color of those, but you can set bold, italic, underline, those kind of things. You can certainly do that. But the focus is on simplicity, and then you can add more web parts into this page. And these are the available web parts that you can add at this time. I'm going to do separate demos to discuss these different web parts. Notice that these are not the same web parts that you have in SharePoint 2010 and 2013, and in the classic experience, the wiki page and the web part page, uh, these are a special new type of web part. I'm going to publish this right away now. And if I want this to be my home page, if I want to go all in on the new page model and put this as my home page, I can certainly do that. I need to go into site contents, find the page, which is of course saved here in site pages. Select the new page, new home page, and then I'm gonna go in the drop down here and then I make this my site home page. So now, if I go on home there, you'll see that this is the home page of my team site. So that's a get started video. I'll go into more details about the new page model, but that should get you started and working with the new page model. Thank you for watching.